Well, shall I scream rape now or wait and phone in a complaint? If you're asking me, I'd rather you press charges. You're not a holdover from yesterday's bash. Now, you left me off your list. Ooh. I can't think why everyone else was here. My name is Rome, Tony Rome. I'm a private detective. How disappointing. And I thought you were someone dangerous. I'm Kit Forrest. Yes, I know. Any trouble? No, no trouble. I'm trying to locate somebody. I thought maybe you could help me. Say, can't we discuss this over a bull shot? Over a bull what? Try one. No, I never drink on an empty stomach. I always seem to need another. Uh, Miss Forrest, about that party you gave last night. Isn't this bar ghastly? It's supposed to be one of Father's collection of early American pornography. He was such a lecher. Was Sandra Lomax at your party last night? Sandra? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not sure. What do you mean, you're not sure? Well, to tell you the truth, I, uh, I got kind of smashed early in the evening. I have what you might call a drinking problem. I wouldn't have noticed. Oral compensation. That's what I call it. What's your shrink call it? Just being a drunk. You're a member of a large club. I wonder how I would have turned out if I hadn't inherited a fortune. Oh, I could think of a couple of occupations. You see, money does have its restrictions. <laughs> yeah. You're broadening me, but I'm still in the dark about Sandra Lomax. If she was here last night, who was she with? <laughs> Mr. Rome, you don't really expect me to know the people I invite. I don't expect you to tell me anything you don't want to. And that robe is making me nervous. You don't like it? You'd look good in a paper napkin. But that wouldn't get me any answers. I'm sorry. What do you say I slip out of this bad man? It could all come back to me. Mm. I'll only be a minute. Oh, and if you need anything, there's a butler. Be more fun with the maid. I have one of those, too. Yeah. 